Yes, and we had to get the froggy tanellas. Look, these are tiny. Bite size. Uh-huh, bite size. Hi you guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. This is part two of our 400 mile garage sale that we took a couple of weeks back and I'm just now getting to the hall. I'm very behind on this. So, let, I already, if you missed the first one, I'll put a link in the bottom for you to go check it out. It was just my last video and let me show you the rest of this stuff. There was so much of this, I had to do it in two parts. Look at him. A ceramic doggy. He's not just any dog. He is a planter. And again, I'm just pulling this stuff out of the bags. It's been sitting here a while, so everything's still dirty. So forgive me. But I needed to get it through here so I can clean it and put it on the shelf and give it a number. So we got that. We have, what is this? Oh, it's a um, brass uh, ink oil thing and it's missing the glass. See, a glass would go inside here. A glass ink well, or I don't know, maybe not a glass, who knows? But David got that. Oh, and look at this cute little purse. This was different. <sighs> it might not be in the cleanest shape, but it was different. I really like that look. Look at the bottom. <gasps> it's a plastic colored, but yet clear bottom purse. Look at all the jewels. So I don't know exactly how old this is. I need to look it up still. It has a these little doodads on the pull string. So cool. I just love things like this, don't you? And, oh, here are some salt and pepper shakers fresh from Florida. Orange salt and pepper shakers. They're plastic. And there are a screw top, so they screw in half. Come undone so you can change that out. I haven't picked up salt and pepper shakers in a while. Oh no, the doggies. I picked up some doggies. The little nippers that were in the last haul. Then, oh, David got this for our granddaughter because she likes unicorns. Oh, it goes this way. So, this probably ain't that old, but he picked that up for her. And then we have a little brass kitty cat ring holder. Oh, and this is cute. This is probably going on my little, my little um, knickknack shelf. Look at that. It's a, uh, it's a snail surrounded by all these mushrooms. Isn't that cute? It's a little, just a little tiny thing. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, and, oh, and yes. And we had to get the froggy tanellas. Look, these are tiny. Bite size. Uh-huh, bite size. So cute little tonolas. Oh, and there's one more little a tonola cat. I say it's tonola. I don't know if it's from Tonola, but it's Mexican pottery. Uh, it might not be tonola necessarily. So, but I got that and he's a little small one too. Oh, David got this little knife holder. So, and then we have this little critter. I don't know what this is. It's a mouse carrying a bag with baby mice on top of it. And what is he walking on? I don't know. I don't know what all that is. But it's dirty too. And it's heavy. It's got some weight to it. Pretty cool though. David picked this up. He liked it. So, let's see. 
we have that. Oh, in here. This is a cool little painting. Look at that. It's not framed. It's on a wood backing. It's a canvas. Wood back frame, but not frame framed. So, and it's kind of lifting from the edges in some parts. Just a little, just the edge or, and it just needs to be framed so the edges stay down. But really cool picture. It's a oil painting. Really nice. David loves picking up paintings. That is something else he's rather fond of. And then here's a shelf. I know y'all like shelves. Love little knickknack shelves. So we can so we can get more smalls. So we need more shelves. And we may need more walls. <laughs> you didn't know I could rhyme huh? like a poet. You didn't even know it. Okay, so here we went to this one lady. Um, she had hats. She had tons of hats. She's like, fill a bag of hats. Fill a bag. Fill a bag. So we thought, we'll get some hats. There's a bunch more of this and this one. Is that it? Oh, no, some green ones. There's only one of that one. And then, so we have these burnt orange and these mossy green. And we thought, we'll just put our logos on them. Vintage Uprise in Texas. Yeah. Or, or maybe because it's cool. We'll see. <laughs> we're going to check into doing that. So we're like... Well, that's, I know this is loud. That's something we can check into. So we have them on hand to uh, sell. And here we go. Oh, I got one of these. <sighs> Poor thing. The last one I got was pretty knotted up like this and I had to sit there and weed out every individual little leaf these are those little dream trees i had one of these when i was a kid so this one needs a little help i'll fix it i'll put it you know make it live again pull out all of his branches out but these are so lovely how many of y'all had one of these when y'all were younger or is it just me um what is this what is in here oh okay all right, this is an ode, y'all. This is an ode, but I couldn't help myself. And tell me, why could I not help myself? I'll give you two guesses. Two guesses. Not ode, but they are adorable. What's your two guesses? <laughs> why do I like these? You tell me. If you don't know, you don't know me. <laughs> oh, and look at this cute little guy. He's a candle. He has not been burned. He's a little puppy. Are you a sick little puppy? He's a sick little puppy. He got headache. He got headache. Look at him. Little wax doggy candle. Pretty good shape, it looks like. His tongue sticking out. So we got that. What is this? Mugs? Did we get mugs? Oh, David got mugs. By the way, I don't remember mugs. He got a bunch of Starbucks mugs. I'm not even sure how old these are. He got these on his own, y'all. I only like getting those destination mugs. You are here now or whatever. I don't know if any of these are that, but he did get some. There's two of these. There's three of these. And there's two of these. What are these, candles? Yeah, those are candles like it's a birthday mug or something. I don't know. And just one of these. 
So, if you're interested in one of these, let me know. Okay, okay. Ugh. Ugh. Cups are screaming at me. Um, otherwise, we'll probably list them on eBay. I'll make him do that part. Do that work. Okay, well, I had to get this pan. It's one of those little tin pans. I love the handle. Love the handle. The other one I had had a knob on the top. This one has a handle. Um, but uh, remember what I did for Halloween? I spray painted it and I put bugs all over it. Well, maybe I can do something for Christmas. We'll see if I can get to it. And it didn't have a bottom because these didn't always have a bottom. You just had your cake on your plate and put it over it. So I bought a little aluminum little plate to go with it. I got it at two different places and I was sure hoping it would fit and it fits just fine. So a little bit of room all the way around. So that's what I'm planning to do, a project with this. Okay. We stopped at one place. See all that fabric right here? I have a whole nother box on the other side. Huh? I didn't even pull that out. But I got this fabric, a lot of vintage, and there's some vintage uh, double knit in there, and then some batting. She gave me all this whole box and that for a price I couldn't refuse, you know, because I love fabric. <laughs> I was going to pick out some pieces, and she's like, Give me a price for everything. Just take it all. Just take it all. That's what we always say, don't we? <laughs> oh, and this is, uh, oh, look at this. This is cute. It's a postcard. Isn't that cute? It's in this little, what is this? Like a glass trimmed in a little brass ribbon-like. Not ribbon. It's, I don't know what you call it, foliage. It's a postcard. Isn't that cute? And then we got a bunch of little hankies. Bunch of little hankies and little individual bags. I went ahead and just grabbed all he had that I can find. Because this particular person had stuff all mixed with crafts and... Oh, that one's pretty crafts and stuff so I was digging out the hankies thank goodness they were in individual little baggies I think that was it on the hankies and then a little hat this is a little hat see the little pom-pom it's a little, little little bucket hat not even a bucket hat it's like a bow hat or something um what else do we have in here these i've been watching for these i saw something on pinterest with these i want to do it they're the little knitted dresses so cute i think i have three now they strung them up on it's so cute so cute so and then look at this pre-cut out fabric cool fabric of these little um what are those doggies called Snauzers or something. A little Snauzer dog. So just some fabric pieces. I got it mostly because of the doggies already cut out. But there were some cool vintage pieces in here. Oh, look. Some chickens. These are pinned together. Look at that fabric. I wish I had a lot of that. Very cool fabric. I just had some of this fabric. I just sewed it. I just sewed it. Um, yeah, some really cool fabric. I don't know what these... Oh, look, look, it's a little rooster head. <laughs> Was it a pot holder or something? I'm not sure. So there's some project pieces in here that I got. Yes, I did. I counted the other day how many I had. I think I had like 13 grapes. This might make 14. <laughs> these are those stone grapes not the acrylic grapes I don't think these are considered still acrylic I don't know they're um 
they're like a ceramic, maybe they are acrylic, still called acrylic. But I like them. I like them my grapes. <laughs> Oh, and here we picked up some more paintings. Yes. Signed. Just a little, what is that, a four by six size? And of course I had to get that one because there's mushrooms on it. More mushrooms, mushrooms. <laughs> These are like a five by seven. So a little on the backer board. And then, no, he's not. He's not creepy, is he? No, he's not. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this creepy little baby. You know, I kept hearing noises in my toy room. Could have been him. I got a baby bed if you want to go night night. Be cute. <laughs> I don't think this is very old, but David had an idea for a lamp he already has that I think he was gonna see if that would work on. Do y'all know what these are? I know Karen Williams knows what these are, and I know that she knows that because I learned it from her. David found four of these. Four of these. What is he gonna do with them? I don't know. We don't have a place for this. We're gonna hold on to them until we get our new house though. Cause he's very attracted to these. He's been looking for these and every time he sees them, he's always contemplating on getting them. He ended up getting all four. He got four of them. So something else we learned from Karen. Didn't know, didn't, never saw them. Now that she told me about them, now I see them. Now I can't stop seeing them. So we got four of those. I don't know, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? Oh, this is something that David got. He picked up these um, ball lids. He picked up a bunch of these. That's what all of this is. So I think he has some jars that he's hoping they're gonna fit. Now, let's see what's in the box. They said it was a, a box full of jadeite. So here's one. I don't know how much is in here. Cup and saucer. There's three saucers. Here's a cup. Here's a cup. There's a cup. So a set of four cup and saucer uh, fire king jadeite cup and saucers. I think David's keeping those. This was the other set of dishes I was trying to think of what he was collecting. Not only his Manhattan, but this, this too. So we've been slowly purging, thanks to my daughter. She's doing it for me. Now I got all that right there. That stuff right there. Well, here we found a vintage Christmas tree. He's nice and fat. No base. It has a little end engine so you can put the plug through. Um, these hoes look mighty big, though. Those hoes look bigger than normal. What kind of lights do those hold? Hmm. It's about this tall head measurement. So we got this vintage Christmas tree. And oh, this fabulous thing. I like this. I guess David found this. I don't remember finding this. So I think David found this. I don't know what this is either. Kind of looks Viking, but I don't know. I don't know what this is. Don't take my word for it, but it's nice and orange. Love it. Um, yeah, I might not be giving this up. We'll see where I can put it. 
And then this piece. Ooh, look at that. And I think this does glow. Love that. I don't know if I have one of these already. I don't think I do. Mmm. Like that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And, oh, here we go. Just got a nice little dually. Ooh. Man, I don't know if I'd notice that. I hope this cleans up. I don't know. Darn it. I don't recall seeing that. Did I get this? I think I did. It's really spotty. I hope this washes out. Because it's too pretty to not do something with it. Oh, then David got these. Need a um, wickered uh, turkey. Yeah, he was walking. Y'all might have seen this come through alive with him displaying them, should I just say. So some little turkey wicker baskets. And then here's the fabric. Some cool, cool fabric. I wouldn't have got this, but I got it. I mean, I got the whole box. I thought this was cool. That's that, uh, double knit or polyester whichever it is i think there's more this is a canvas this is i don't know some kind of lacy curtain probably maybe even a tablecloth it's newer some southwestern kind of style and then this kind of style the double knit And then this one, which I really like too. I need to get to doing something with my fabric. I want to make stuff. And then another one of these wicker shelves. I pick these up when I find them. Love these wicker shelves. I think I have a, oh, I have another one that has a towel holder underneath it. So cool, cool. Oh, in here, we got this cute little sewing basket. Oh, there's things in here, I forgot. But look at that, so pretty. Little wicker sewing basket, a wood bottom. What's in the box? Oh, oh we got a little mini, little mini uh, dresser tray. Oh, and some jewelry. Look at that. That's fabulous, very pretty. Okay, Tammy, don't do that. Don't be lazy, take it out of the bag. Very pretty, love that, love those colors. And what is this? Oh, I got just this bling. I figure if I get enough of this kind of bling stuff, this necklace stuff, I'm gonna make a craft with them. So is that all the jewelry I got from that place? I remember this now that I see it. Um, look, here's one of those other uh, candle holders that I was talking about. Aren't these fabulous? And what's that, Arco? Dallas, it says Dallas on there. Maybe this ain't a Japan piece. Oh, I just saw that. It has a little nick right here. And it's green and gold, avocado green and gold. This is just fabulous. I love these. And it's a ceramic piece. And David got this. This is pretty cool. I wonder if he knows a history on this. Look, the stopper is in a metal cork stopper. This is wood. This is pretty cool. Lovely. With metal on the ends and put around your neck. I wonder if David knows anything about this. I don't know. 
I forgot he got this. I vaguely remember him getting this. This is cool. Hmm. Water pit. What do you call these? Water pitchers? Decanters? What are they called? Is there a name for that? Oh, and a got a a Lane Cedar Chess little box. These are is it Lane? Maybe not. We did get a Lane box. Oh yeah, I thought I saw it somewhere. This is the Lane box, little cedar box, but no key. So we love our boxes. Oh, and look at this. Woohoo! It's a long scarf. Long rectangular scarf. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. I don't like things close to my neck like that. Yeah. Look for our recipe exchange. We need to do a recipe exchange. Still in the box. I love that. What's in this bag? Let's see what's in the bag. Early American magazines. David picked up three of those. Early American magazines. Is there a year? 1980. It says 1980 on here. And what is this? Hmm. I wonder, I'm not sure if he's keeping this for himself. You know, because he's now sort of a book collector. Yeah, and this too. He might be keeping that. I don't know why. He ain't going to do anything with furniture unless he just wants to learn to recognize it. You know, all the hardware and stuff in it. I don't know. This is one of David's finds. I'm having to show all of y'all without him because he's not here. He's out umpiring. And then this. I picked this up. Ain't it fabulous? Oh, so cool. <gasps> Love the colors. Nice. I wonder if these probably had a lid. I don't know. I have to look this up. But, hmm. I may be getting rid of all my newer pan pots and pans that are really look older because, you know, they don't look this good, and this is much older. These just last so much better. Surprise! not all of us are going back to this kind of style of pots and pans. So, this is everything. I got through my second haul of the 400 mile yard sale that we went up north for so again tell me what your favorite was what did you like do you shop for fabric do you look for fabric what do you what is your favorite i mean what what is it that you look for i mean i'm kind of eclectic here right i got everything almost everything did i hit on everything i almost did i don't know what i'm missing if i didn't <laughs> So again, leave a comment below, give us a thumbs up before you go, and consider subscribing to us if you aren't already. Thanks for watching, you guys. We appreciate you so much, and be sure to wait for the kids, and I'll see you on a Wednesday live sale. Bye for now. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. If you click that, and click that subscribe button and up there, there. And then clip, 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 give a big, big thumbs, thumbs up. up. Bye. Bye.